Hi, this is Travis for MM668. I'm supposed to talk about a newer significant patient interaction. Um, I just, this is like my second week in a row that I keep seeing um, a lot of bipolar patients coming in um, that are that are taking their um, SSRIs and going into mania. It's, it's quite the, the process. Like um, they're scheduled a certain dose and then they just up it on their own without calling the doctor and then they just keep taking it and then they keep increasing the dose and then they come in and they're almost they're like in between hypomanic and manic and it, it it's just amazing to me because I'm used to work in the inpatient setting so I see them at manic stage but I've never seen them like climb up to the manic stage and and just about tip over you know where the 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 impulse decisions are going to take some time to they're going to start right before they start making those bad decisions but it, it's interesting to see this this mode and and how they love it it they, no one has ever complained about hating mania they love the euphoria the the energy the rush the the not being able to sit still the 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 amount of stuff they think they can get done even though they're so disoriented and and not disoriented just just dis they're they're thinking so skewed that they can't even focus on one task and they jump from task to task and they're like oh we they just they just feel good like that was the best job I've ever done at this and I had the best night at this and I had the best night at this and it's just like did you I'm, I'm not seeing that <laughs> so it's just very interesting to see I mean it does not take I mean we're not talking massive doses we're talking like 150 milligrams of sertraline uh, I think one of the other patients was like 15 to 20 milligrams of Lexapro. That's, that's close, to, close to the max dose. But uh, it, it's just, it just blows my mind with bipolar how, how easily these people can be set into a manic state with the wrong medication. So, like, I can see why um, bipolar is very difficult. It takes five, six times to diagnose it because... The, the depression we can hit it's the mania that we just we just never catch it they never tell us the information they they love it so much that they don't even think it's a problem so even when we're trying to pry these questions out they they're not very forthcoming and and as truthful as they need to be like yeah i don't need a lot of sleep or i'm just feeling great like this is the best i've ever felt so if they'd be a little more forthcoming i think it would be interesting to to, to help diagnose these people, but it's just a, a cool population. And it, the more I'm around it, the more I'm learning about it. So that's my journal for this week. Thanks, Travis Pearson.